Hi everyone, welcome to my first video on my art channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my basic anatomy. Um, I'm going to be using Medibang Paint app, I think, and in the size 18 pixels and 90% opacity, I believe. And I'm just going to show you guys the front view, the basic front view that I like to do. In no way, shape, or form is this perfect anatomy at all. I'm still not the best at anatomy clearly but i'm learning to improve so i decided to show you guys what i do so far so i'm starting with my head different head shapes for everybody it's all completely different but this is the one that i usually do it's just the circle and then the little like rounded chin ears and guidelines um so i'll probably size it down later in this video because i tend to make them too big for the body proportions but you guys will see that later so i'm now making my neck and then I'm doing circles and connecting the neck to the circles again for guidelines and making two little lines going down and then stumping at the end for the chest where I put another line. And then I make this like triangular shape. I'm not sure how to explain it, um, but I like curve it in and I'll show you guys how it looks upside down if that can help. But I just make that and then that is a socket to the knees. So I'm doing like this like standing like full legged position so you'll see that it's different than just standing normally um and i make sure that i put my cows i don't know if it's pronounced calves or calves or something but when they stick out i do that at around a little bit further down the knee and i put a circle there to where the knee goes and then i know where to start that and it just gives it that more realistic look um it looks messy right now but i'm going to clean it up later so now I'm moving on to the hands and I like to make little rectangulars but like round them off and it's like rectangular shapes. I'm the worst at drawing hands. I tell you, like when people say they're bad at drawing hands, I'm like the worst. So I just scribble down some fingers. Usually I'll just round them out. But today I thought, why not just scribble out some bad fingers? So that is what I'm doing today. And uh, you guys can clearly see that. Um, so I'm just going in and adding some final tweaks before going in with a second layer. And on this second layer, I'm just going to be cleaning it up. So I want to show you guys proportions really quick. Um, I'm fixing my head so that my head circle shape is around the size of my front top torso, not including that little triangular shape, but just around that length. So now you know this, you can make the head according to that circle around. I like to make it a little bit bigger because it fits my style more. Um, but whatever you do, you, and just experiment with it. So I'm going to switch over to a red pen now and I'm just going to show you guys lines according to the proportion. Some of these lines are bigger and some of these lines are smaller or like more in length from each other. Um, I'm doing the one at the top of the head, at the middle of the neck, the bottom of the torso, the bottom of that like triangular shape, the kneecaps and the bottom of the feet. And you can see the big difference of distance and you can kind of maybe use this guide to help you a little bit and make your proportions more even. Now I'm just lowering the opacity of the drawing and I'm going to be going over it uh, with the same brush, just making it a little bit more clean. Now I don't usually do this, but I'm doing it today just to show you guys the basic shape. Usually even when I'm doing a final drawing, I don't do this just so it can be a little bit more like fluid and look more realistic uh, but for this one it's just a little time lapse of me doing it so you can see the basic shape if you were to do it in a different style and as for making it more loose that is basically the sketch beforehand also this is not perfect in any way a lot of these lines are not my best and i've done much better bodies than this it's just a quick example So you can check out my Instagram and my TikTok. They will be linked below. And there you can find all of my posts and a bunch of things that I do on my stories and even interact with my future YouTube videos. You can see much better artwork than this on there. And I really hope you guys enjoy it.
And ladies and gentlemen, this is the final result if you are to do just clean line art on it. It isn't my best work again, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial from the first thing I showed. You can do much more and let me know if you want more longer, more detailed video on how to do more positions. I really enjoyed making this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Please let me know if you guys want to see any other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!